I was just, you know, I was standing on the uh, edge of my biplane one day, just enjoying the view, and I was thinking, man, wouldn't it be nice if uh, we had a blimp? Where's the blimp at? Oh, there's the blimp. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and I'm really excited today. I know it's been a few days since I put out the last video, uh, but I'm really excited because I've been working on this massive airship mega project. I finally decided to tackle the autopilot problem. So this blimp will in fact fly itself in circles when it gets up to height. Uh, you have to get it up there on your own and it does have a gyro to stabilize it. So you can see there, it's not touching the ground. It's floating perfectly above the ground and it is in fact using, you can hear that gyro going in the background, it is using a gyro to keep itself level and it's very, very well balanced. Now, there's also this lovely detachable biplane here and when you spawn it on the workshop, if you do decide to spawn it, you'll see it comes with this little red beam. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that red beam there and then we're gonna go down here. And the frame rate will tank a little bit, but it's weird because sometimes it drops to like 20 frames per second and then it'll jump back to 60 and then it'll jump, it, I don't know, it jumps all around so it is what it is. It's not too bad. So we're going to get inside the gondola here. Obviously, you can see just a really simple, I think it's called a gondola. But anyway, it's just a really simple switch to get inside. And uh, you got some nice little sensors here on either door. And those are actually sensors to indicate whether or not the door is open. So you can see there, if the doors are open in the, uh, in the cockpit in first person mode, you will get those two lights indicating the doors are open. But you can see there, guys, we do have these nice little simple crates here, a nice little observation floor once you get up to altitude, and of course, a lovely, lovely cockpit, which I always forget to paint something. I swear to God. There is a WASD converter in this design, and of course, all the uh, the controls there, they light up as you use them. Before we go and look at how this all works, let's, you know what, let's get it up to altitude. Now, I personally like flying this in first person. I made sure to put a really nice big view screen on it. So you can see we only have three switches in it and they're actually from left to right, one, two, and three. Now, the two blue switches are your autopilots. They go lazy circle to the left and lazy circle to the right. And the yellow is your forward thrust. So it's W, A, S, D. So W and S are pitch up and pitch down. And then A and D are turn left and turn right. There's no roll controls because the entire uh, airship will stabilize itself with roll on its own. So we've got our biplane there in tow. We hit the one switch and then we just press S and you can see there it will pull up. We just lost a fair amount of frames from the, uh, the blimp, but it does actually have a hard limit. So when you pitch up and pitch down, it we can fly around with uh, A and D and W and S and uh, very, very simple controls. It will automatically stabilize. And once we get up to uh, sufficient altitude here, you can see on the inside, the entire thrust module actually will tilt with the gyro. And that's what helps keep the neutral buoyancy and really keep that airship type effect and really that airship feel when you're flying around. It does fly very slow, but it is very, very stable. It's almost impossible to screw up. I mean, occasionally you can throw the gyro off, but you just kind of hit it with a hammer. So anyways, we get up to sufficient altitude here and we're just gonna let go of the S control there. And as you do that, the stabilizer is designed with sort of a series of sensors and it will, it'll write itself. And then we just activate number three and uh, that should activate the autopilot to the right there. We can turn off the one key. This gate here indicates that we are moving forward. So we'll just have that autopilot running. And uh, now you'll see, we'll start to turn on its own eventually. So it kind of turns in segments, so it goes straight for a bit, and then it'll turn a bit, and then it'll go straight for a bit, and then it'll turn some more. And it keeps repeating that. It sort of makes like this big, I guess, like polygon type shape. Not really a perfect like octagon or anything. Now there is one issue, which is of course in the game, you can't actually get upstairs. So you're kind of screwed when the thing's moving. So that's why we've got these seats here. But you can see there, it is starting to turn, and now it's continuing another straight line inwards. And it'll keep doing this. Well, it would appear Cosmo has joined the game. After, Hello, friend! After leaving the game and then and then joining back again, as it says on my screen. That wasn't me. How, how's it going? Where, where are you that at? That was other Cosmo. I am, I'm currently in a blimp that's uh, flying itself. Well, I'd say come pick me up, but there's no space to land the blimp around here. I am on the outskirts of the forest. Well, that is super specific. All right, I'm you know what? One of the corners. I think the only thing to do here is to take the plane because this this blimp is a pain. It's slow. Uh, the biplane is definitely faster. So we're gonna we're gonna hop in here. Just uh, 
jump in there. We do have a nice passenger seat. So biplane is actually really, really cool because those two flaps, you can see if I zoom in here, you can see there's two flaps on top of the wings activating those sensors. That actually allows you to detach the biplane remotely. So first thing we wanna do is activate one, which is the lift thrusters to offset the biplane's weight. Press six, it drops that first sensor, which lowers us down. And then press five and, uh, and that will open up the entire mechanism. So boom, we press five and we can just drop down by pressing one and we are good to go. And the blimp will continue to fly itself in circles and wait for us to come back. All right, where are you? I am really high up. This biplane is sweet too. <laughs> the Cosmo I paint am... scheme. Let's put it this way. I am chasing after a runaway motorcycle. Uh, okay. This is crazy. You can see it, look it up, and it's just like yeah. pulling circles. Oh, there. I see the plane. Where Go are left. you? Okay. Go left. Are you in that field there? No. Okay, I'm by Just this. Keep going left, all the way to the edge. Left to the edge. That's so hilarious, man. I see the blimp going by itself, and I see the biplane just uh -oh. maneuvering in the background. Biplane's failing right way. now. I... Yeah. Oh, I see the motorbike. There you go. Okay, okay, where are you at? Oh, oh I see another motorbike. Hey. Oh, perfect. Oh, I hey, see you jumping. Hey, hey. all right, all right, all right. <laughs> We're coming in for a nice, uh, not so smooth landing here. It's Farmer Con. Actually, you know what? This is not, that was, that was pretty good. Last time I tried to dock with this plane, it took me like a half hour. So I, I've been practicing. I you, man. you basically have to hole shot it. You line up and then give her full throttle and hope you kind of like hit your mark. Right, all or nothing. Yeah, and if you don't, you just kind of, the blimp is so massive and it's got such stabilization, it doesn't even notice. But the biplane <laughs> is pretty stable. I mean, it flies with WASD with buttons two and three for roll. The throttle's on a switch, so you just kind of have to tap that. Same with the up control, so. Dude, this biplane is so cool with the pipes and everything. It's a V12. I did this when the blimp wasn't moving and it was super easy. Oh, well. Well, I know that's kind of obvious to say, isn't it? I'm pretty it? sure you just destroyed the limp. You know what? I'm going to just whole shot it. You know what? I'm just going to You need to have co-pilot controls for when... Yeah. Oh. Oh, perfect. Nice. Nice, Just bro. ripped a nice hole in the blimp. Shot. Ripped the aileron off the back. Yeah. Yeah, my dude looks pissed. Well, yeah. He's like, he's I been can't like, believe... I might as well have landed let the blimp at this, this point. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome in theory, but in practicality, it's really not as good as you'd think it would be. Yeah. This is for, like, exceptional emergency missions. This is for, yeah. It's like, oh, send the blimp. Oh, really? It's gonna take, like, four hours to get him onto the blimp. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna do this, man. We're gonna do it. Yes, yes. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I promise. <laughs> we're promised we're gonna... We're God. plummeting to the ground. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. So close. Right here. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah! Whole shot. Whole shot. shot. Alright, so that's Order how you win. have to do it. You gotta get the top wing on top of it there. Okay. Perfect. It was okay. just, you just gotta come in nice and slow. Okay, now we, we press five. And that brings that arm up, which clamps it. Look at that. See how smooth that Beautiful. was? Now, you gotta Beautiful. make sure, see those two bolts underneath the plane? You gotta make sure they're in front of the two arms. That's what keeps it from slipping, like right. backwards. And then you can press six and turn off one and gotcha. turn off four. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, now I'm gonna get out Ooh. first and fall okay. off, apparently. <laughs> you can't get out when the AI is in the middle of a turn. Captain, we need to go. Yeah, I, am, I, am I? Get in the plane, Captain. But you're, but you're, you're, you're flying. Captain, Captain, the plane is leaving. <laughs> get back here. This is the best biplane physics I have ever experienced. I know, right? It, oh my it goodness, feels please so much, don't do that. It feels so much like you're flying. You gotta, you gotta roll this thing to left, bro. Oh my goodness. You're rolling too oh, much. Oh, oh my, oh. Bro. Oh. Okay, okay, here's what we're doing. We're landing. I can has on fly. The ground. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Excellent. Well executed. I, I was gonna put it on the lift and then I realized it didn't have to. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> See, you just gotta, the problem with suspension glitch flying in this game is you gotta be really, really, like, slow with the controls. There we go. Excellent flying, sir. See, the point of those two lights is to kind of line your wings up with the lights, but I'm really bad at it. 
I'm sure some <laughs> someone's gonna come along and just be like, yo, this is easy. I don't I don't see what the problem is. But I really I don't have much experience playing around with flying in this game. Mm. And hovercraft are kind of easy because they steer themselves. So anyways, you just kind of I'm just jamming it. You see, I've got full throttle on. Plus I've got the lift, and that kind of jams into this wedge. And then, you know, you hit that five and boom, locked. Turn off one, hit six. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, I've got, I've got the. Whoops, that was my bad. Oh, we're good. I had the we're forward good. thrusters turned on. That was the problem. <laughs> we're good. All right, so I'm gonna get out first and hopefully not fall. Okay, commander. And then you get out. And then you, yeah, you kind of have to leapfrog your nice. seats. Now we're in the blimp. That's awesome. So you can see here, it actually works on a really simple principle. This is the master gyro, sort of controls everything. Don't hit it. Don't touch it. Basically, <laughs> don't do anything to it. Um, quantum reactor pretty much yeah i mean like the gyro is a very simple principle so that disc basically free floating on bearings will always stay level with its starting position which is flat and then the, well, the layers i wonder of... what would happen if i <laughs> oh god no why would you do that oh <gasps> oh my oh no are we falling we're going to become flat with that new axis you picked us <laughs> Which is going to make us fall from the sky. Uh, oh god, we're slowly listing, we're listing, correct it! Get the hammers out! Get the I hammers did. out! I did, Do you I not correcting it! <laughs> oh my god, you made it worse! Oh god, we gotta get down, get down. Bail! After all that- I'm leaving, oh god. After all that effort. So this is why you don't bring people like Cosmo on your trips. I'm bailing through the plane. Goodbye. Oh man, you really screwed it up now. This is okay. <laughs> you just took the plane. Peace. No, oh, what a dig. It doesn't matter. You're about to hit the wall. Oh, perfect. Oh. Oh yes. god. Oh dear Jesus. As you crash miserably behind me. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks. Oh, that was awesome. Thanks. Oh crap. Thanks. I fell out of the plane. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this thing hooked back up and actually go and check it out from up here. I would ask that you uh, please keep your uh, arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. No promises. It does fly very much like a blimp, though. I will, I will give it that. I mean, the frame rate kind of tanks a little bit on the uh, incline sometimes because of the plane jostling around in the back there, but... It really, it really uh, kind of inspired me from like, you know, those that Indiana Jones movie with that one scene? Every time I fly this with the biplane, that's all I can think about is like, imagine having destruction physics and bullets and being able to shoot holes in the blimp. As cool as this blimp is, obviously there, you can see there in the front, that's the entire autopilot controls. Um, also the whole heads up display for the thing. The but interior it, is so cool. At the end of the day, man, it really runs on such a simple principle. It's just, it's basically just a flat gyro and everything has to stabilize from there. And then the, the- Love and tacos. Love and what? It runs on love and tacos. Oh yeah, pretty much. This blimp took me way too long to build. Um, and there's a lot of things in there that are so subtle, like the fact that the engines move, you'll, you'll never notice it um, if you're actually, you know, playing with it or whatever, but it's all those little details that make it perfectly balanced and that's what really took forever to do, but I know at the end of the day you don't really see much, you just see a very simple blimp and you go, okay, it's a blimp, whatever, but it's really the control systems that got me uh, excited about it. Okay, I've set the autopilot to do some lazy right turns here. Beautiful. So we should Is be able to- safe to walk? Yeah, we should be able to have just, you know, a dance party. I mean, the autopilot is really cool. The autopilot actually does engage these reverse thrusters here to slow down the whole blimp because uh, walking around at full speed is kind of a pain in the butt. Very, very difficult to do. So you just uh, let the autopilot go. It's Man, it's so cool to look down though. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, it's very cool. And just seeing like how tiny the uh, launch pad looks. Yeah, I know. And you're like, <laughs> you're just lumbering above it. And the, the cool thing about this blimp is it fall, it eventually will fall to the ground. But I think it takes like something like an hour or two hours to fall one block in height. Wow. So it's like, I mean, That's good luck. Nothing. Yeah. Did Let's you, go, bail, did you, go, go, did go. You, hold, you held, ship. you held pull up. You held. <laughs> You held pitch matter. up. Ship. You can't hold pitch up. We're gonna. Abandoned okay, okay. Ship. All right, we're good. Oh boy, this thing sounds. This thing sounds like it's going. What did you do to the autopilot? 
<laughs> All the engines are freaking out, man. You've got the autopilot in some weird, like, binary flux state. What did you do? You, did you... Yes, we're traveling time. Did you, you flick, you flick, oh god, we gotta get out of here. You, you flicked it on and off, like, a thousand times, didn't you? I'm taking the biplane. Hold up, what are you doing? Let's get, just get the biplane, man. Do I it. can't get to it. There's not enough time. There's not enough, okay, well, you know what? There's... Oh. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, coming oh. away from me. Oh god, oh god, no! oh god, I failed out! It's all good, bro. It's all good. Flat. Oh, dude, I can. You can totally wing walk on this thing. <laughs> on this biplane. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> I'm fuselage walking, man. Ghost ride. Ghost flying. Literally. I was just, you know, I was standing on the uh, edge of my biplane <sighs> one day, just enjoying the view, and I was thinking, man. Wouldn't it be nice if, uh, if we had a blimp? Where's the blimp at? Oh, there's the blimp. I don't know what you did to the autopilot, man. I think you, you pulsed the switch really, really quickly. <laughs> and, uh, I might have to fix that, because you put it into some weird sort of state. And it's, uh, it's freaking out right now. All the thrusters were going mad. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I will put the blip up on the workshop. It's not as crazy in autopilot as a lot of people would think. Um, obviously, with the lack of long-range sensors, it's very difficult to make something that flies and can actually see where it's going. So it uses a really simple timer system. If you turn the autopilot on and lay aim it at a wall, it will, in fact, hit the wall. Um, but overall, I had a lot of fun making this build. Kind of reminded me of the, the good old days of Planeception, where we had that... Uh, that plane that went up inside the other plane but this is sort of a little bit different with the uh, plane going up into the blimp and overall man you screwed up my biplane too what you doing <laughs> anyways she kind, of, she kind of veers to the left a little Sorry, yeah, bro. yeah a little bit i don't know you glitched that too man anyways <laughs> this is why you don't invite cosmo to your your parties um comes in breaks all your creations Laughs about it, fails out. Did you cut a hole in my blimp? You cut a hole in my blimp. I was trying to escape. I was panicking. <laughs> there's no, there's no, there's no glass floor anymore. There's just a, there's just a concrete. Perfect. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure if you did like that video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you go check out Cosmo as well and all his ridiculousness. Um, not, uh, not a scrap mechanic player, but he does post some videos to the YouTube. So go check his channel out. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>